we are pursuing love in the wrong way. I believe that it is in the searching and looking and seeking that we get it all wrong. Think about it. Hi, I'm Giovanna Vidal. I am so excited that you're here on my channel on your journey with Giovanna Vidal. Yes, it is about your journey, our journey, and how we can make it more fun, more cool, more easygoing, how we can reduce our anxiety. Yes, that's what I post about because that's what I know. <laughs> so you may know me from the Darman series. And if you didn't know, I have a number one best-selling book called Teen Anxiety no more. I hope you'll pick it up and share it with anyone you know and love who may get lots out of this book. It's a really fun journey and I hope you'll take it with me. So thank you for being here. Let's get back to the video. We were all born to want and seek love. Even as a baby, right? That's all you want is to feel the love from your mom, from your dad, from your family. And it's a mode of survival. It's said that children who don't get love don't survive so i don't mean it to be gory but it's just it's it's a natural human tendency and as we get older and as we begin to find others attractive and want to maybe date it gets a little perhaps tricky right we're all seeking something we're all sold love everywhere we go movies shows perfume even chocolate, right? Social media, hello. Everywhere we go, we see these beautiful displays of love. We don't know what's really behind the scenes. The point is that we're brought into this like magical place thinking that everything is a fairy tale and that's what we should have, right? Well, I want to say we search for that fairy tale and I want to say that we're going about it in the wrong way. Oh yeah, I went ahead and I said it. We are pursuing love in the wrong way. I believe that it is in the searching and looking and seeking that we get it all wrong. Think about it. So we're often searching, looking, seeking for Mr. or Miss Perfect. First of all, that doesn't exist, right? But second of all, that's where our mistake is. I believe that when you seek, you don't find. I don't know. I was always looking for a relationship, let's say, and I would be like, ooh, maybe perhaps, ooh, maybe perhaps, you know, eyeing up potential candidates to see if they could be my next boyfriend. But whenever I was looking, I could never find what I was looking for. It was only when I stopped actively looking that I found. Oh yeah, this is really fun. I'll give you an example. Girls, have you ever gone shopping and you're not looking for anything in particular, you're just kind of out, kind of seeing, you know, kind of what you can add to your wardrobe, not really have a, an occasion. Isn't that when you find like the cutest dresses and you're like, oh my gosh, this one's cute, this one's cute, I love this one. And you're like, mm, you know what, I can't rationalize, I can't justify the expense, I don't have an occasion to wear the dress to, why am I gonna bother? Um, you know what, I'll wait until I have somewhere to wear it to. And then you get an invitation. Oh yeah, you get an invitation, you can go to the same store and you don't find a dress. You can't find anything you like. You're like, wait a minute, I was just here like last month and they're the cutest options. Now I have an occasion, I gotta go to a wedding, I gotta go to a Sweet 16, I gotta go and there's nothing for me to wear. How is that possible? Because you're looking for it and it's not gonna just show up when you're just like i need a dress i need a boyfriend i need a girlfriend i need somebody to love me i need some who wants to be with that right you can't even attract a dress let alone a mate so i think i believe it happened for me that when you take the foot off the pedal and we're not actively driving so it's okay <laughs> when you take the foot off the pedal you can actually enjoy what's going on in your life, around you, in your family, with your friends. You can focus your energy on so many other things, be it, you know, applying for colleges or getting a new job or having a good time with your friends, right? When you're not focusing on finding someone, that's when they appear. 
I know so many instances in my own life and those around me where this is exactly what happened. Well, I think dating is the same. When you're scoping out every guy, every girl to see who is a potential, you look desperate and you don't just look desperate, you give the vibe of desperation. And that's not a cool vibe to be with. Everyone is actually repelled from that ickiness right so what do i suggest i suggest go work out go hang out with friends go to parties alone if you have to if you have no friends i've done that so many times i actually met my husband now oscar alone i went out to this party by myself i didn't have any friends to go with I know that sounds weird, but it's true. I lived in LA. I, you know, a lot of people here, it's hard to make friends in a big city. And you know what? I didn't let that stop me. I, it took me a while to get to that place because I used to not even like going to the movies by myself. But you work up to it. You work up to it. And then you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I don't have to worry about who wants to leave at what time. If I want to stay, I no one has to like give me a ride. It's awesome. So anyway, so I ended up meeting Oscar, my now husband, in just that manner. I was not looking for a boyfriend, let me tell you. I had gotten out of a relationship probably like eight months before and I wanted to make it to the one year mark before I got into another relationship. So in my mind, I still had four more months before I could start considering even having someone in my life. That's kind of cool too. Give yourself a timeline. Be like, I don't wanna have anybody in my life for the next year. Watch out they're gonna pop up out of nowhere, okay? Out of nowhere, you're gonna find somebody awesome. And that's how it is. So another thing, if you are wanting to be with someone, I wanna propose, have fun in the search of that someone. Don't just like feel that like, oh, that angst, that anxiety around being alone, around not having someone in your life, not having someone to go out to dinner with. I already said, go by yourself, it's a lot of fun. But then the other thing is, I wanna propose how I feel like I met Oscar. Yeah. There's like an active step that you can do that I think really worked. It worked for me. So I want to share it with you in this video. Okay, so here's the thing. The self-love diva who I talk about in my book, she gave me this amazing, amazing suggestion. She said, write a list of everything you want in a relationship. Don't write what you don't want because then that's what you're going to get. Write what you want. I want someone who's taller than me, someone who's kind and generous and funny. So important. Write all those things down on a list and revisit it every so often if you want. If not, just let it go and keep it like in your heart. Like keep it like in the back of your head every so often. Be like, oh yeah, that's what. And keep adding to the list, right? So me because my brain works differently i didn't want to write it on the list so for the first time i found and i am showing what i did instead i used a little tiny mason jar with little post-its i love post-its like i'm not kidding i have post-its everywhere and i just love them so i took little post-its and i put them in this little mason jar with each individual characteristic i wanted to find in my next boyfriend so I think I'm gonna share a couple with you guys so you could see what was important to me at the time when I was looking for someone. So, ah, let's see what's in here. Oh, this one is, says, thank you God for the beautiful rewards you have for us that we have yet to enjoy. Oh, okay, I don't know if that one was exactly when uh, I was looking for him, but let's see. Thank you God for getting me to work beautifully with Viola Davis. <laughs> Okay, maybe this is the wrong little jar. <laughs> Although I'm happy I found this thing. This is cool. But see how cool it is? You can make it like a little treasure and have fun with it. But I put, um, thank you God, that's who I believe in, because I wanted it to be a reflection of who I wanted to attract, right? So I was already speaking like I already had it. Thank you. Thank you for giving me what I already want. Thank you for giving me the perfect mate for me. Well, the point is, do something fun like this, right? All the things you want in your mate, in your next mate, and don't, don't revisit it. It's like, what's that saying? Like, you can't plant a seed and then go to it the next day and be like, tree, are you out? And then like unplant the seed, right? You gotta let it do its thing. I don't know what seeds do. They just 
start growing roots, right? So I have not opened this little jar in over probably eight years now. The other step that the self-love diva suggested was to find a photo of someone that you're attracted to and hang that up. And I had a photo of me and Oscar de la Hoya when I was at my first job, like straight out of college. I used to get invited to really cool events and I had a photo with Oscar de la Hoya. I'm like, this is pretty cool. It reminds me of how far I've come. I'm gonna put this photo up. So I put the photo up. His name is Oscar de la Hoya, famous Spanish boxer, Mexican boxer. And I was like, oh, cool, I like this photo. I put it up. I kid you not, one month later, I met Oscar. Okay, this one's a good one. This one's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna... God, thank you for the book that's inside me to write. Thank you for it coming out. Okay, how cool is that? My book is out. See, things come true. I was not expecting that one to come out, but it's like, this is how you manifest. And we'll go into that deeper, but I just wanted to give you like a couple little tools so that you don't feel like this desperation to find someone and you can enjoy the process of them being out there and you stumbling upon them. So I don't want you to get all anxious. I'm alone. I don't have someone in my life and I'm not mocking you. I've been plenty alone plenty of times in my life. I've spent so many holidays on my own and I've loved it because now that I have someone, I can remember what it was like to be alone and I appreciate and love our relationship infinitely more because I know what it's like to be without someone and love it. So love the process of someone being out there for you. Do a little fun list or a little mason jar with the actual things that you want to manifest in there. I'm so curious what else is in here. This is a fun little game. I hope you guys do this. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna do this. I really wanna know. Oh my gosh. Okay, some of them still need to happen, but let's get to it. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy the process of what is left for us to yet experience in our lives. I'm gonna do another one of these and come back in another eight years and be like, oh my gosh, that's where I was. So cool. All right, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for humoring me, despite the fact that I thought I had the right jar. <laughs> but let's love ourselves in the process of finding that person that's just right for us. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and like this video share it if you enjoyed it and if you haven't subscribed yet do so and like i said like the button and love yourself <laughs> i love being here with you guys i'm looking forward to doing more videos so stay tuned put on the little notification bell so that you get alerted every time a new video comes out and let's do this we still have a few more months left of this year let's just rock it together okay so thank you again and bye for now so if you liked this video go check out the others i got lots of videos on this channel so keep watching